throwing a three-year-old across the room into a cabinet. We showed you this yesterday. Here's an update. This woman, Wilma Brown, has been charged with abuse of a child. The video is hard to look at. The family was first told that the toddler accidentally fell. You can see here, take a look, the little girl standing quietly before the daycare worker walks over, grabs her arm, flings her across the room into this cabinet. The three-year-old rushed to the hospital, receiving seven stitches. The attorney for the family is also upset because the daycare director allegedly didn't watch the video until five days after this incident happened. Wilma Brown is not in custody yet, but a warrant is out for her arrest. We have reached out for comment, have not heard back. Attorney Lisa Bloom joined me now. So Lisa, the good thing is this was caught on surveillance, but they didn't watch it until five days after this occurred. This is a really shocking situation with a number of problems, as you point out. I think this daycare center should lose its license and should be shut down. If they don't care about enough about a three-year-old child being physically injured to the point of getting seven stitches, they can't be bothered to watch the video to see what happened, that they participated in a cover-up of this and said it was just an accident and the child fell. I mean, these people should not be in business anymore. Governor Mike Parson said that after he saw this, he wants to do everything he can to protect children. Uh, he has children and grandchildren, and he is outraged. What do you think needs to be in place, Lisa? Of course, surveillance. I'm surprised this woman, maybe she didn't know that the cameras were even there. Yeah, thank God there was a camera there because probably nobody would have believed this little child, this baby, when she said what happened. Nobody would have believed her. I represent victims of discrimination, harassment, and abuse here at my law firm every day. It's still very hard to get people to believe a child. So thank goodness there was surveillance. Right. But there's no point in having surveillance if nobody watches it. Mm -hmm. If the superiors don't watch it, even when there is a complaint, that's what's really shocking. So I like that there's criminal charges. There should be civil charges as well. There needs to be accountability for everybody involved so that no other child gets harmed. What kind of charges is she looking at? Because again, as you mentioned, one of the most vulnerable people are young children who maybe can't speak about what happened to them and they're defenseless. Well, she should be looking at felony assault charges because this appears to have been a willful act. And then if there was any doubt, the lying and the cover-up afterwards shows that she knows that what she did was wrong. You can't take a helpless little child, grab her by the arm, and throw her across the room and not know that that is wrong. I mean, this to me is a very, very clear case. There's no room for doubt about what happened. And Lisa, another mom has now come forward saying her child was abused at that center as well. Do you think there's a future for this center? It shuts down. They may be clear house, bring all new people in, or maybe it'll shut down. I think it needs to it needs to be shut down. It does not surprise me, but it's very sad that there's a second incident. I'm a mom as well, and whether you're a parent or a grandparent or not, you know we all love children, and we know that we have to protect the most vulnerable among us. When any of us have sent our kids to daycare, you know this is our biggest fear, right? This is our worst nightmare. We trust those people to protect our children, to love them and care for them as we would. And if they're not going to do that, uh, they need to say goodbye and find another occupation. And good for that family member of the three-year-old who said, wait a minute, let me look at the surveillance video and fought to see that, maybe even uh, saving other children from going through something similar. Lisa Bloom, thank you. Thank you so much.